everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making the castle shell poncho. So for this poncho you will need four balls of Starcraft Special DK. The colour I chose is mustard. I used my 5mm hook which is bigger than prescribed by the yarn for that lacy effect and of course you will also need your scissors and darning needle. Let's get started! Now to get started we are going to chain 96 chains. These 96 chains determine the neck opening. So when you hold it like this, so hold it closed like this, you need to be able to get your head through it easily. And it needs to just have enough opening so you know you don't feel like you're enclosed in, you know, around your neck. But if this is not enough for you, then you add 16 stitches. If you are making this poncho for a child and you need it to be smaller, you take away 16 stitches, 16 chains. So the multiple for this poncho is 16. The reason why it's 16 and we only need 8 for a shell is because we need to have an even number of shells. So what we need to do is have an even number of times 8. So here I have 96. And that means we are going to have 6 times 8 times 2. Okay, so that's 12 times 8 because 6 times is for one side and then the other 6 is for the other side. That's how I see it. So if you chain your 96... And you will see I have not connected it, okay? We are going to do a big cheat here uh, because it's always impossible to, you know, to sort of do this and then link it and then be sure that there's no uh, twists in your chain. So we are going to get started by chaining 96. Make sure your head fits through it. And even so, still now is a difficult time to assess whether that is the opening that you need. So you might just have to go as far as this video will go probably, you know, where I've done one or two even rows of shells to then put it round your head, over your head, onto your shoulders and assess where you, how your opening is going to lie, okay? And that's the only way to go about it because sized patterns are all very well but you still have to try it on, on your person, on your body or on the person. Hopefully, if you're making this as a gift, you can ask them to uh, try it on or to even use a tape measure to try and uh, measure the opening of another poncho that they might have of or of anything else that they might like wearing. So we have now got a chain of 96. We're going to get started. So insert your hook again. And this 96th chain is our last stitch, so to speak. And so the first stitch we are going to put in here are going to be two chains. One, two, because of course we need to make the height. Then we are going to move along the chain all the way back, doing half double crochets. Yep into the back chain. I know, I know, but it does give you such a lovely finish. So you yarn over and one, two, three, into the fourth stitch here, into the fourth one, you're going to turn over your work and go into the back bump of the fourth chain. Then you are going to Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook. And this has now given you your first stitch and your second stitch. And yeah, the back bump is being used. And yes, we are going to go all the way like this. All the way back 
to that very first chain. Just so that you know which is the back bump. So these are the two strands of the V at the front. Here you see that there is a third strand, this one here, and that is the back bump. So you yarn over and you go it under the back bump. Now very often it's easier if you actually twist your hook and go under the back bump like that. And you end up with a nice edge on the visible side of your poncho there. I will see you at the end of the row. So I have done my 96 stitches and it is much easier now to turn it into a circle. So to turn it into our neck opening. So making sure you have the tops of your stitches nicely on the outside like this. Lay it flat and you'll see where to attach. There we go. Okay. Now, of course, we are going to do a slip stitch. Let me just hold it up so you can see it. We're going to do a slip stitch in the top here, but we won't have connected our chain. So you're going to use this end here when you sew in the end to just connect it. Um, nobody's going to see that you've done that. It's a lot less hassle if you do it like this. And it's a trick that, you know, people do sometimes even if the pattern isn't um, you know, described like this. So, you know, it's a way to do this without having to worry that your um, chain is twisted. So you do your slip stitch. So you've got your stitch here, two chains, skipping and then into the top, the V there, which you are going to use to do your slip stitch. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to do a chain one and a single crochet in the next V. So this is the start of row three. Okay. Now we are going to skip three, one, two, three. Working in the fourth, we are going to place treble crochets in here. So you yarn over twice. Into that fourth stitch, you do a treble crochet, a chain one. So yarn over twice, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. You do that again into that same stitch, each time doing one treble, one chain. So you've got one, two, three, four. Now for the fifth one we are going to do a treble and a chain. So this is our first shell and this is our first castle shell, of course. That's what I was calling them. Skip three stitches into the fourth one, you do your single crochet. So this is the castle shell that we were using in the shawl as well. So next we are going to create a tip and a tip is done by creating a tower shell. Yes, I am. I am very inventive with the names of my shells. <laughs> so this is a castle shell. A castle shell is five times one treble, one chain, one treble, one chain, one, you know, five times. A tower shell, of course, a tower is taller. A tower is bigger. Well, not bigger than the castle, obviously, but it's taller than the castle. So we are going to place 10 trebles in the next location. So one, two, three, into the fourth location, into the fourth stitch, you are going to do 10 times one treble, one chain, one treble, one chain, one treble and one chain one treble, one chain, and so on. So you're going to do this 10 
times. Make sure you count them because you've got this habit of doing five, remember? And in two locations on the poncho, your front, the middle of the front, and your back, the middle of the back, that will be the location where you will have to do a tower. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Scoot them all over a bit into that same stitch. Eight, nine, and the tenth one. And a chain. There we go. So I have my ten trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay. Then once again, one, two, three stitches skipped into the fourth one, a single crochet. You will see that clearly you will have a tip there. So now we are going to work along this side of the poncho. And along this side, you will have to do castle shells, but there will be five of them. Okay, after you've done your five, you will do another tower here. So I'm just going to get started. Yarn over twice, one, two, three, into the fourth one. You do your castle shell. And like I said, you continue like this for five times. So you have five castle shells along the side there. So one, two, three, four, five, chain one. And then you skip three, working in the fourth single crochet. Okay, so repeat this five times, or at least now I've got another four to do. So I will see you when you have your five castle shells along the side. So I've sewn in the end just so that it looks a little bit better there and then it looks the way it should have looked to start with. <laughs> okay, so now as you can see, I have got my five castle shells there. Now, we are at the location where we have to do another tower shell. So you are going to do exactly the same one to skip three stitches into the fourth one. You are going to do your 10 treble one chain one. OK, so 10 times. And if you think you might lose sight of them, because obviously you are going to do something slightly different uh, with them, you could put a um, stitch marker in them until you sort of are used to spotting them. But you will you will see them because um, two, four, six, eight, because obviously there are more locations there than there are in the castle shell so you will notice it straight away that you will have to do something slightly different there and i counted just now but i forgot two four six eight and ten yes so one more chain one two three and single crochet in the fourth there we go okay so now i have my front and my back so to speak and i have one side and of course now i am going to do the rest of the second side i don't like starting with the tower shell straight away it's easier if you just do one castle shell or even your five castle shells then a tower then your five and then a tower it's preference, okay? But just as long as you make sure you have two towers and the rest are the little battlements. <laughs> okay, so let me do another four lots. Okay. 
Okay, so this is when it comes down to the crunch. I've done my last treble and chain one. And then of course here we now have one, two, three stitches left. And then I have the stitch where I've done that single crochet to start with. So that's where we are going to slip stitch into. Okay, and that completes the first round. Now, as you can see, you now have on each side one, two, three, four, five shells. So like I was saying earlier, if you make this smaller, so here I have one, two, three shells, okay, because I've, I've done two rows here, right? So here I've got the three shells. This is much smaller. This would be like for a baby um, to make a smaller version, okay? So this I found was perfect for me. If you were to add more shells, you will be adding them here so i now have five shells you will have six or seven that would be very very big or like this here here we have three shells so it would only be like this right so it would be much smaller there we go see and that would give you a very small poncho just like this one would have been that was my trial piece so now we need to look at the locations again. Remember when we did the Woodbury Castle shawl, there were specific locations where we were going to put our chain threes onto. And some of the locations on the castle shells are the same, but the tower shells, they have different locations. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so these are the locations on the shell. So you have your first treble, then you have a chain, so you work around the chain for the first location. Then you skip a treble and a chain, and you work on top of the middle treble for the second location. You skip a chain and a treble, and you work in between the two trebles around the chain space. Okay, so these are the three locations on the castle shells. So let me just show you closer up. Okay, so we have first location, the second location and the third location. Now let's move on to the tower shell. There will be more locations on the tower shell. So you start with the same first location. So you pass the first treble and you work around the chain space. That's the first location. The last location is also the same as on the castle shells. So just above that last treble. So basically these two locations are the same. Then we have different locations here. And the easiest way to do it is to skip two trebles each time. So you skip a tre two trebles, go round the chain space. Skip two trebles, go round the chain space. Skip two trebles, go round the chain space. And then again, you skip two trebles to go round the chain space for that last location there. Okay. Now the green one, that's the one where you will be putting a single crochet in there, but that's also the location around this chain space, around that single crochet, into here is where you're going to be putting the next tower shell. So the tower shell from the next row will also go into this hole here, okay? So let's take a look at that close up. So you will have your two first locations here. And then you will have skip two trebles around the chain space, skip two trebles around the chain space, skip two trebles around the chain space, skip two trebles. Okay, so once you are familiar with these locations, it will be a lot easier for you to do this poncho. So make sure you are very aware of these uh, locations. Have a look 
at them now. OK, put some stitch markers in them now just so that you have a reference or even, uh, you know, try and draw it out or whatever you need to do to make sure that you know which is which. OK, so I'm just going to leave my stitch markers in for now for this first bit of showing you how to go about crocheting the next row. So we are in row four. So we did not quite finish where we need to be because we need to be into that first location here because that's where we are going to attach the chain three when we finish our row here. OK, so we are going to do slip stitches. Each row you will have to slip stitch to the location where you have to be. So I do them very loosely so they don't pull the work together. So one into the chain space, one into the stitch, one into the chain space. So do three slip stitches and that will bring you to the first location. Then here, let me hold everything properly, you're going to do a single crochet. Now you are doing your chain three, one, two, three single crochet on top of the middle treble so that's my purple location here chain three one two three single crochet around the chain space in between these two trebles like so okay so on top of my castle shell i have now two chain threes now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to go over to the next shell to the next location. Then I am going to chain three, three, and you skip two trebles into the chain space there. One, two, three, skip two trebles into the chain space there. One, two, three, two trebles skipped into the chain space. One, two, three, skip two trebles into the chain space. And that has brought me around my castle shell. And that means I've got one, two, three, four chain threes lying around my castle shell. Now, once again, one, two, three, and you go over to the next shell to the first location. One, two, three, on top of the middle treble. One, two, three, in between those two last treble crochets and always connecting with a single crochet. And this way you work your way all the way around your round, basically around your poncho, because of course you need those chain threes to attach the shells to in a moment okay and you will remember some of these locations obviously from the Woodbury Castle shawl but make sure you know where they are because that will make life a lot easier so you will be doing a row of chains so chain three, attach with a single crochet into the locations. And then you will be doing a row of shells. Two tower shells and all the rest will be castle shells. Each time the amount of castle shells will grow because you will be adding them to the row each time. So I am now at the tower shell. So I've gone into the first location, which was familiar to me, but then I noticed there was a lot more. So I am each time skipping two trebles. So chain three, skip two trebles and into that chain space with a single crochet and so on. OK, so I have gone round my castle shell and now back to the other side 
to do my chain threes. So I'm now doing my last chain here. Now I have to go and attach, of course, to that location where we slip stitched two and then did a single crochet here. So I'm going to slip stitch into that single crochet that you did there in that first location. And now, of course, we are also not in the right place to get started. So along the chain, we are going to slip stitch again into the chain doing three slip stitches not too tight not too loose into that yeah i'm just going over that last chain into the single crochet maybe you know here you just need to use your judgment go maybe just past that single crochet just so that you're in the location on top of that single crochet here and now you're going to start doing your treble crochets, your castle shell around the chain three there. Okay, so yarn over twice and do your castle shell around the chain three. We are one two three four five and a one chain okay now this of course brings us to our tower shell and you need to do a single crochet to to close your shell here so you're going to skip the first chain three here go on to this single crochet and do your single crochet there Okay, so this is your first castle shell finished. Now we are ready for a tower shell. And like I said earlier, we are going to place the tower shell in this location here. So the middle location on your tower shell is where we're going to put it. Not into the single crochet on top of that, but you go all the way down into your your tower shell into that middle hole so you have five trebles on this side and five trebles on that side and you're going to place your 10 trebles in this hole here so yarn over twice into that location this is going to be awkward with that stitch marker there do you know what i'm going to remove that because i think it will get in the way as i'm doing so many in there okay Right, let's get started again. Okay, so yarn over twice into that middle location and you do your 10 trebles, one chain. And you just scoot them over a little bit if you haven't got enough space. There we go go all right let's have a look how many have i got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten chain one and then, of course, you have to attach your shell. So you just take this next chain three here, single crochet there, go onto that single crochet and do a single crochet. And then once again here, we are ready to do a castle shell. So into the chain three to do your treble chain one five times. And basically, that is, that's it. Um, you are going to keep repeating um, the row where you do your chains. One, two, three, four, five. Then you repeat the row where you do your shells. And you will notice that 
your shell row, yeah, of course, the chain row becomes longer as well, but you will obviously be doing more and more shells on the side and your poncho will grow like that. You will only do two tower shells, of course, one at the front and one at the back. Those are the tips of your poncho. So this is the front, this is the back, and here is where your shoulders will be. Okay, so this will lie over your shoulders, this will be the front and this will be the back. So yes, yeah, so once you know um, where those locations are, those are the most important because that will help you attaching those chain threes. And then once you've done your chain threes, then of course you've got the row where you're just doing your shells. Each time your shell amount will grow because you're adding shells to it by doing the chain threes. Now for my poncho I did a total of 21 rows and you do a repeat of rows 4 and 5 alternately. I finished my poncho with a row of chain threes allowing you if you want to to put tassels on but again just like with the Woodbury Castle shawl I don't know whether I will put the tassels on or not I just I'm I'm liking it without thank you very much for watching and I hope you will try and make this poncho do post me some pictures if you do make it on our Facebook group I can't wait to see them Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Before you go, please like and share this video. Ring the bell so you're notified of new videos. Join our community on Facebook and here are some more videos you might find interesting. Thank you so very much for watching and come back soon. Bye!